fuck today and the first thing we'll be talking about is for graphics so for graphics there are a few settings and you'll change it from the screen behind you um, so is this good it, it was alright at good simple were a bit simple I'd say um, but there's lots of settings that you can see so this is beautiful you, you can just see it a little bit more detail fantastic and then the spectacular so I'll be playing the game at spectacular and I'll be showing you a few things now I found that the game ran high FPS even at the highest one so as you can see the guns look pretty nice the detail on the guns the city is the thing what is the best about the graphics so it's so open and you can explore it the buildings the animus are like um, space pirate train if you play that and the detail on them are real good and when you brush up the graphics are pretty good on the broad up bit um, the only bad part about the graphics is when it, you're far away they're a bit out of resolution you can if you can just see that far in the distance it's a bit blurry but overall I'd say about 8 out of 10 for graphics so next that's we'll be talking about combat so combat you get two guns one in each hand for loads of different weapons rocket launcher snipers and you start off with the dual pistols and as you can see it's like space power train like I said before where you shoot robots but there's loads of different animus so that's the first one, robots. The next one, um, you'll see, is like these humanoid robots. And the combat is um, pretty hard. You know, in hard, hard, but in easy. So it's a bit fun. So it ain't too difficult and it ain't too easy. As you can see now, I'm fighting these fins from across the fin. And it's pretty fun to fight them like this. And the, like I said, the graphics on them are pretty decent. You can't pick up for weapons, but it's a bit bad how I like to do. But the thing what makes um, this game combat so good is you're able to move throughout the city. You can go on top of buildings, you can go inside buildings, and you can fight for the enemies inside buildings on top of buildings. And that makes the combat last with Patif, like other games. And it just gives it that thing what other games don't have. So I'd say it's about a 6.7 out of 10. And that's what we're talking about content as you can see this loads this missions and there's quite a few missions as you can see loads of missions that's just pretty much they're doing different stuff uh, like scenarios there and then this defense open world and towns so towns this yeah three towns this and the towns this is are um, like doing different things like for this one you have to blow up as many vehicles as you can with a rocket answer in 60 seconds what's a, a bit fun you know it's worth playing it every now and again but for me I found you couldn't well see you know the next one is like shooting balloons with a sniper rifle well again it's a bit fun but you know it gets boring after a bit in a path of the hour what makes you want to keep coming back so yeah it's fun for a bit and then the next one I'll be looking at is defense so defense is just like space pirate train well where you have to shoot robots what come at you just like space pirate train well but in like a city instead of like in in outer space so I think that's good personally and then um the next one is the open world where you can explore the world and fight. I like this a bit more. Most VR games don't have open world, so that's pretty fun. Um, but overall, I find that all the game modes are pretty much the same thing. So I'd give um, that. I'd give that. So I'd give that a 6 out of 10 because it's so repetitive for content. Um, and then and that's how. I would talk about overall the game is pretty fun it sucks that you can't turn around you have to turn around in real life and I have a small room so that's a bit hard and I have a bigger room than some people so I think overall it's about a 7 out of 10 it's worth buying if you have enough room I would say it's like a room skill game not a standing game um, unless you can move about 360 alright so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed Peace.